research involves students. Students of the Civil Engineering Department are evaluating the bending strength of masonry beams. In BCIT's Structural Engineering Lab, the beams are externally reinforced using glass and carbon fiber wraps. These tests are sponsored by the Masonry Institute of BC and ISIS Canada. This is a not very usual project since most of our projects uh, are related to design and are done individually by students. This one is done and is sponsored by Masonry Industry who are interested in uh, doing experimental research. Lately there has been like nothing that's failed a structure in for masonry. So what they want is they want to know how big, how small they need certain things to be for them to fail. Also, glass reinforced polymers are relatively new for this type of beam. Um, the biggest thing you normally see in, in a flexural beam that's again above a, a door or a window are small cracks that occur and that's creepy and no one wants to see that and so on and so forth. So these will strengthen that sort of idea. And this technology is used uh, uh, yeah. extensively in older, older concrete buildings and uh, seismic repairs. Uh, especially, we don't get a lot of seismic activity up here, but down in the states, on the fault lines down in California, they use a lot more of this uh, type to reinforce damaged columns and still save a structure and yeah. not have to knock it down. Well, our project is a continuation of a previous project from last year. Last year, they decided to test nine masonry beams. Masonry, why it's so exciting is because the code's only about 10 years old compared to all the other ones, which are practically ancient. Uh, they made nine masonry beams and they tested six. They were expecting to see some shear and some flexural failure. Shear is a, a cutting force, while flexure is a bending force. Uh, last year, from the six beams, five failed in shear, so nice big shearing cracks that were formed. One failed in flexure. What we want to do is we want to see how these beams handle in flexure. One is not enough. So we're going to be uh, retesting two of the beams from last year that were tested and three of the untested beams. Uh, this is a small sample of the grass, glass reinforced polymers that we intend to retrofit our beams with. It's quite impressive and rather thick. Basically what this does is the orientation of the fibers is incredibly important. They can handle tension, that means a pulling force, incredibly well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding these to the outside of the beams. And when these feel flexure, which we hope they are going to feel, it's going to feel a bending. That's what flexure is, a bending. Again, they'll still have the strength it has right now, but all the problems that it has from the cracks and from the shear will be taken over by the polymers. The retrofit will involve a crew coming in. We're going to grind the corners off the shear critical end zones uh, so that the, the corner edges of the masonry beams don't cut through these fibers. And then they'll be applying the first stage of an epoxy, putting on our wrap in two different designs. We've made two different designs to be able to compare them. And then uh, securing it with anchors, put on the final layer of epoxy, let it set for 24 hours, and it's ready for testing. 101, 102, 104. We've had some cracking in the epoxy and uh, not, too much crack, uh, not too much flexural cracking of the beam thus far. It's loose. <laughs> this is more fun than Disneyland. <laughs> we got a little more crushing of the epoxy. It's uh, pretty much what we expected. Uh, that's going to happen soon within the next 15 or 20 minutes and the load should be around 100 kilonewtons. That means 10 tons or uh, higher um, as at the failure and it's going to be a really big bang. Personally, I've gained a lot of experience uh, dealing with logistical issues. We have a lot of organizational things going on. We have to uh, coordinate with outside contractors, generating funding, getting our teachers involved, getting, you know, we're working on our communication skills, oh, we're yeah. doing it's, it's really a team building experience. It's also very exciting slash frustrating sometimes to see all the added bits of information you get from testing, all the yays and the oh no's, and I have to admit it's been a really great experience and I'd do it again. <laughs> Research just fills out your education that much more. You still do the calculations so you're blue in the face, yeah. but, but you, you get to do that much more. You see it at the end, <laughs> you see the results at the yes. end, it's a little, it's more, a little more fulfilling.